What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy T-Bone. Thank you so much for joining me on what is about to be a new series here on the channel. We're starting Twin Mirror. Now, I'm not sure how many of you have heard about this game. I know it hasn't been talked about a ton. I did see it on one channel um, on YouTube that I watched uh, a few weeks back. Just did like a pre-release type thing and so definitely thought it looked interesting. I uh, won't give too much of it away, but basically this game is about a guy who has to go back to his hometown um, and investigate the, um, you know, he has to investigate something. I won't give it away already. Um, you'll find out here in the first few minutes, but basically he's a reporter and uh, he has to go back to his hometown, face his demons, kind of go back through um, all his past trauma and relationships with people from his hometown and things like that. Um, and uncut uncover kind of a mystery that's uh that's going on and things like that so we're gonna jump into it i really appreciate you guys tuning in this should be a really great game i'm really excited for it um if you guys have played life is strange or are familiar with those games same company developed this game so definitely should be good a um, little bit of a mind bender for sure so i'll stop rambling on guys make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already smash that thumbs up button Really appreciate your support here on the channel. And here we go, guys. It's your boy T-Bone. Let's jump into this new series, Twin Mirror. The skies are finally clearing up after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, so we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. Wrap up tight and settle in, folks. It's got some pills, it looks like. Some past due bills. Fatal car crash. That's what jungle journalist something. Here we go. Here's our main character. Heading to Basswood, it looks like. Or Basewood. I don't know how you pronounce it. Looks like a bit of a deserted place. My and my Does the wind go down below? Let me breathe and I'll let you go. Oh. Maybe not. I've felt around for something real. There's a radio station. I'm playing wrong in my ear. Okay. Looks like there is some kind of factory in this town. So I don't know too much yet. Just this guy's driving into town. Lookout point. That sure is a lookout. That's a nice view right there. Time to kill before the funeral. Might as well spend it here. Gotcha. So we're going to a funeral, it looks like. This place was always one for decisions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. Restoration sign. The company made sure we knew how generous Welcome they were. Welcome back to Basswood, Sam. Restoration made possible thanks to the generous donations of the new Virginia Coal, Inc. Okay. I came up here every chance I could. One of the all-time great views. Really makes a small town look big. All right, so typical. <laughs> yeah, right. You'd think the massive cliff face would be a giveaway. Probably. But hey, just gotta put the warning there, I suppose. Got some more signs over here, it looks like. 
wildlife area. Talking about the animals in there. These trails were great to walk if you okay, wanted so to feel truly alone. West Virginia is where we are uh, located, looks like. Hunting is another tradition I could never get behind. Just don't see the appeal. I feel that, bro. Grew up in small town Illinois, and uh, yeah, Some I just never got into endangered. it. She wrote an article about it. Who, who's she? All right. No hiking sign. Don't really need to check that out. A food like locker. Keep hikers and hunters safe from bears. True. Don't want uh, a bear getting uh, wind of your food. I used Would to love looking at basswood from up here. Help give me perspective. Until that day. That needs to be fixed. Dang. What a view. Looks like we get to look inside here. What in the world? Okay. Looks like we're going to uh Why can't the real a different world, world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? I don't know, bro. A train? Huh. Even if it does mean nothing stays here. Mine closure. Okay. Not even me. Sounds like a mine closed. Interesting. Supposed to walk this way? Looks like it. Okay. Got a path here that is, uh. Remember. I, huh. uh. I've been meaning to ask you something. Don't freak out. Would you be my little girl's godfather? I, I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. Huh. And yet I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. Wow. I'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about. Sounds like that guy was a pretty close friend or family member of ours. Can I remember this one? Damaged track led to derailing. Here we go. This is Anna. She works freelance. Uh, does a lot of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. <laughs> what do you like to write? I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit chat. And Sam, be nice. I had never met someone so interested in others, even in hmm. me. Okay. Keep on walking. The story is important. You know I think that. It's just... People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. Sam, okay. are you even listening to me? I heard right. you, Anna. But no. I wasn't listening. Okay. So, Anna, a friend of ours, we're Sam. And the other guy who seemingly died, it seems like. Don't know who he is yet. Do we miss anything? Optimal shot angles. I'm not reading that equation. Heck no. And yeah, there's just some other random things. Ah, another memory. Hmm. Come on, Anna. Look at this. <laughs> what is it? Someone skinny dipping? Anna, you really need to see this. I can't even see. Something's blocking it. Oh, shoot. Our girlfriend. Sam, what are you doing? Uh-oh. I'm trying to be romantic. 
What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. Ouch. I'm down on one knee? A ring? What else would I be doing? You look like I just ran over oh, your Oh, that one's gotta hurt. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. Yikes. You should know that. We've discussed it before. What does that mean? What, so you don't want to marry me? Ouch. That hurts. A blast from the past, that's for sure. We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. True. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? I don't know. Oh. Well. Got a new journal entry. I decided to take a walk on the promontory before Nick's funeral. Thought I wasn't ready to face Basswood again, but the past is already pulling me back in. My memories are so vivid, it's as if I'd never left. All right. We gotta return to the car. Let's see if we can make it to the funeral in time. Missed the funeral. Oh, Maybe it's just the kidding. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. Jeez, bro. Pessimistic a bit. Who hitting us up now? Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. Huh. You might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. The good news, though, at least you don't have to do it alone. Uh, what you mean? Who are you? Alright, so, uh, sounds like that's the other part of our mind. So we got some, uh, some mental problems. Like to talk to ourselves. We got two different voices in our head. Suppose everyone does, but... Um, Nick won't care. Uh, no, nah, I'm not gonna be that guy. Yeah. I'll, I'll be there. Lost the signal. Some things never change. True. Alright. That is a pretty small town. Just a few blocks of uh, houses and businesses and stuff, and that's about it. Alright. Miner's Haven parking lot. Cool, cool. Okay, so talking a lot about the mine and the derailment of the train and all that stuff, so... Definitely must be a mining town. Joan Bug Waldron, Nick's daughter. Can't imagine what she's going through. Okay, okay. So that guy who died is Nick, and that's his daughter, apparently. And remember earlier, he asked you us. Came. It's been a while. You've gotten taller. 
in that flashback, he asked us to be her godfather. We're right now. So. It's cold. She's 16. She can drive. She looks like she's 10. So. You left. Yeah. Joan, that's not fair. You left. It was more complicated than just me and you. It's always more important than me. Joan, listen. Ouch. After Anna and I broke up, I couldn't keep living with her. I didn't have anywhere else to stay. So I moved back in with my mom, who's over in Connecticut these days. You didn't call, text, or anything. You were just gone. I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. Sounds like this man got a little messed up from the breakup. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Thanks for being honest. <laughs> You're always at least honest. True. Honesty Listen, is the best I, uh, policy, always. I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's wrong. I don't buy it. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just look into it, Muley? Please? She wants her father's death to mean something. But where does that lead? Homie, who are you? What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? A few questions won't hurt anyone. Just tonight. To reassure her. And myself. This is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, True. whatever you do, at least leave the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other. Even if it means disappointing her again? Hmm. It's your call. Sounds like we got a choice to make. Okay, so we have the two sides of our uh, personality, it sounds like. Keep her out of it, or promise to look into it. Huh. Okay, so... If she knows about it, she could get hurt, you know, if she knows any information or that we we're poking around. So that's not good. Keeping her out of it would be lying to her, which she just said we always were honest with her, so we'd be breaking her trust again. Promising to look into it. If we don't or we fail her or something, we let her down again. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> it's like Harry Potter when Dumbledore kept him out of everything. I don't know what to choose, guys. Um, I I would tell someone I'm gonna uh, I'll look into it. So I'm gonna go with that. Okay, I'll see what I can see and. All that. Gumshoe it up. You will? You make some good points. It doesn't fit. I hate when things don't fit. Yeah, me too. I might just be, I don't know, crazy or something, but... You want to know for sure. I get it. Thanks, Muley. I, um... I should go in before my mom misses me. You better get in there, too. Can't hide in your car all night. Oh, I can if this I want to. hiding out here. I do. See you inside. Alrighty. 
Sounds like we've uh, got an investigation on our hands. There is a big fat guy outside. Assuming that's all of us. Look quite a bit different in that photo. Yeah, pop some pills, homie. Alright, looks like we're gonna go inside. sooner or later everything has to be a reference to the mine so yeah when we came in that thing that looked like a factory yes, pretty sure that was a cat mine food is under the sink yes yes it is mother okay Trust our me. former boss cool oh, Samuel is here I'll call you back Samuel Hicks as I live and breathe has it really been over two years regardless I'm so glad you finally made it it's good to see you what kept you trip down memory lane. I missed the funeral, but I made it to Nick's wake. You have to bring it in for a hug. It's a basswood back in town requirement. So good to see you. Even if I wish the circumstances were different. In times I mean, like these, we need he's the a nice guy. of others. At least I do. Former boss. Nice guy. I'll give him a hug. Don't want to seem too standoffish. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? Tch. No, why? Um, no reason. Um, no reason. Chance, we should catch up. We should really cool. catch up. That sounds like there is a reason, I'll see you but. Alrighty. Here we go. Time to go inside. All right. I'm assuming we're gonna meet uh, some old friends in here. Mr. Samuel Higgs, big shot investigative reporter. Didn't think you'd ever be back in here. I'd gladly slash your tires, but that oh. mean you couldn't leave town, and you are. Leaving town right after this, right? Is it yep. you well, Nick's memory only goes so far. Oh. That's what I thought. Come on, it ain't worth it. Making friends already, I see. Duck Always. Been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to anger up everyone's blood. I'm only here to pay my respects to Nick. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, shame that. You watch yourself. At least we kind of have the cop on our side. I think it's time I go put up a photo at the memorial board. That's what people do, right? Yeah, pretty much. Sammy! Oh, it's been ages. Tara? Oh, me? I've had this stomach thing lately, always churning. Uh... And this thing with Nick? Oh, okay. His car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned Jeez. alive, you know. Oh, okay. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Um, no. Liam from a Sam. I've read that article you wrote on the mine. You must have put in a lot of legwork on that. It took reading thousands of public records, but a pattern emerged of willful negligence. You are a bulldog. True. A dangerous man to anyone using power to exploit others. Okay. That's nice of you to say. Oh, don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you... But for now... I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, oh, right. True Thank that. You, stranger Sam. 
Okay, so it sounds like we wrote an article on the mine. Which might be why uh, boy back there don't like us. Maybe he, uh, maybe he worked at the mine. Hello, Kathy. Kathy, uh... Sam, you actually came. I did. It's been too long, Kathy. <sighs> Has it? Joan was really hurt when you left town. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and... Joan's never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um, Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? Okay, take it easy. Hard to make promises. I don't do well with those in Joan. I've noticed. But I'll try. Sam, I'm gonna hold you to that. Okay. Seems like a lot of people are not too happy with us leaving town. Let's put this photo on the board. Um, okay, so look to the left there, guys. Is that Anna with him? V strange? V strange? Mind Palace. What what is the mind? Oh, this is when we go back into this whole thing. This is our mind palace. All right, let's go back into our mind palace. I dig it. Come on. All right, what's our memory here? Huh. You're a lot like Pac-Man, Sam. I consume everything in my path. Savage. Find every last bite. The mine closing wasn't your fault. Your investigation just hurried things up. You probably saved some lives, you know. Hi, Dad. Hi, Muley. You piece of language. Oh, that ring. I didn't know you were thinking about marriage. Oh, it's just it feels like the right thing to do. Dad, what's the point of getting married? Well, it's just one of those things people do, Bug. Here, you can play. Someone has to show you grown-ups. Video games are the realm of the young. Have you talked to Anna about this? That's kind of the point. I'll talk to her about yeah, it. I was going to say, ring. like, what? If you say so, hey, just remember I'm here, right? If you need anything, anything but my arcade secrets, those I'll take to the grave. <laughs> All right. So it looks like they found out about the uh, engagement just a little bit before too. Why was it just like sitting out though? That's just sorry weird. we lost touch. Sorry I lost touch. Rest up, big guy. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. True. I wonder who took that picture. Interesting. We'll go to the picture of him and he Anna was more last. Of a best friend than a dad. Look at us. Young. Oh, oh, okay. Bug was so small back then. Wow. Those two were a there great we team. Huh. We drove straight to the sea after work on a Friday. Hell of a weekend. True. And here's the uh, the grand finale of them all. Happier times. Oh, okay. I guess he doesn't. Maybe it, they were just friends. I don't know. Samuel, guess I lost the bet. Bet? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood. Not huh. after you went careening out of town like a bat out of hell the instant that article broke bad. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Um, yeah, we're not going to tell him why. I don't care about who his bet was with. Let's just say I won my bet. Sounds witty. Well, Dennis, I won the bet I had with myself that you'd be an asshole right off the bat. Oh, okay. That was a safe bet. 
What are you even doing here, Dennis? You and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which I am. And True. I thought he was a hack, which he was. This coming from the IT guy. Didn't know resetting passwords could give you a journalism degree. It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. Oh, cool. Relax. I'm just playing. <laughs> At least tell me how you've been. Uh, I'm good. Yeah, like you'd care. Uh, not too much. But suit yourself if you want to be like that. Anyway, cheers to Nick. A man that, unlike us, people actually liked. Nice. Speaking of which... Ah. Looks like Anna. Gonna play a nice song for us. In memory of Nick. Sounds like that song finished early. What a random place to uh, hold uh, that, this whole gathering, but I suppose in a small town there might not be a better place. Hmm, used to be Anna's mother's. True. Anna? Sam! Wow, hello. Hug her back. She needs it. I've missed you. Why did it take so long for you to darken my doorstep? That's what I'm supposed to say, right? Even if not everyone around here would like it. People around here have short tempers. And long memories. But most of them mean well. That was, Sam, the mine uh... was going to close anyways. Maybe any year or two, five, if the Lord has a sense of humor. It was going to run dry or have an even bigger disaster. It wasn't your fault. True. I wanted to help. I was trying to make things better. You always do. Try, at least. When my oh, father lost savage. his life, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Hmm. Whenever people talk about you, he always says, you did the right thing. Yeah, well, your dad's Joe. He's an oak. Unmoving and annoyingly supportive. <laughs> It wasn't just him. Nick thought your piece was great. He was actually jealous. 
Oh. He always wanted to write something that shook the pillars of heaven, hmm. as he used to put it. You know, Nick and I had moved in together, started to get serious. Oh. But I think it's only now I realize how much I cared for him. Yeah, we didn't know that they were together. I mean, we knew from the picture, but obviously our character didn't realize that. Um. Hmm. You and Nick started going out? When did this happen? A few months ago. He... He never told you? Probably you tried to. You asked me to let him be the one to say something. You two had been so close. That's what happens in a he small town. Tried. I hadn't been answering his calls. Everybody uh, dates everyone. Just like small friend groups. Part, right? Anything broken just stays broken now. Yep. But pretty this, much. This was all nice. The funeral, the wake. Walter did a good job. But it all just makes me feel heavy. It makes my heart hurt. Like Nick's memory has been laid on top of me and I'm still carrying him. Wow. Um, yeah, not just gonna ask her if he was murdered. It's hard for me to really just wrap my head around it. Nick being gone. Smart. Don't rock the boat when the person in the boat just lost a loved one. It's yeah. big. I can't get my head around it either. His stuff is all over my house, but he's just missing. Things without an owner. Most of it I'll probably give to Joan and Kathy, the throwaway, I don't even know. Sam, I'm tired, and if I'm gonna drink and cry, I wanna do it alone. Okay. Goodbye. I that stupid, stupid song like I told myself I would. He said, or he used to say, it made him ache. I did it, and I'm going home. Okay. We need to catch up, though. Let's meet for coffee tomorrow and talk. Really talk. 9.30? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I'll be at the cafe across from the paper. Christina's. Just say yes, dude. It was honestly nice seeing you. S say something. Say you too. Anything. Samuel, or don't. Come. Have a round with me. I need a drink no or two. Or three. And then I'll go. That's the guy who got the mine closed. I can't believe he showed Totally. Let's look at our journal. Nick's wake was always going to be difficult, but talking to Anna left me feeling drained. If only I could make my excuses and leave now, but Walter is already calling me over to talk. Cool. Cool. Wow. Okay, so we have a lot of updates for people. Jeez, that's wild. Okay. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. I didn't know All right. Dickens, Ethan. Walter can be overwhelming at times, uh, not but he really. means well. You just quoted him a couple of times. Yeah, I'm just uh, sounded good. trying to. Then you should read Great Expectations. So Nick wasn't drunk. Here we go. And me, I was drunk as a skunk. Ah, Samuel, 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 join us. We were just sharing stories about dear Nicholas. Let me get your next round. Maybe Thanks, Ethan Walter. has a suggestion for a worthy spirit. Ah, spirits? Oh, no, no. Friends drink beer. Yes, True. I suppose that's fitting. To dear Nicholas. Yeah, he'd been coming in a lot lately. You say you need to drink, and, right and, and that's you the know, drink you take, bro? Dad joke or two. <laughs> with friends, I guess? Maybe Anna. Oh, by himself with his laptop as his date. He never drank alone. You two were close, though, right? Tell me about the man outside the bar. He had a terrible memory. Couldn't remember names, dates, passwords. Kept his notes squirreled around him like a horde. Who are we talking about? Hmm. 
I don't know. I hadn't spoken to him in almost two years. I cut this whole town out of my life, and now it's like I'm a stranger. This place is in your blood. It's like an old glove. You have to give it time. The friend of man, the friend of truth. The friend of age and guide of youth. Few hearts like his with virtue warmed. Few hearts with knowledge so informed. Okay, we got There's a poet a here. World, he lives in bliss. If there is none, he made the best of this. Burns. That from your eulogy? You know Robert Burns? And no, just something I keep on hand for toasts. Oh, it's a good choice. Oh, okay. And sorry about that, Sam. I wasn't trying to bring you down. Everyone liked him. I think even Dennis liked him somewhat. He always had a lot of friends. A few who couldn't make it sent flowers. How's the family taking it? Joan and Kathy seem shaken. Kathy has a lot to deal with. Now more than ever. Who could True prepare that. for losing a parent? Not a soul. Not a single soul. It always seemed so easy for him. Every day he'd show up, smile, no matter what. Of the qualities in a good man, that one deserves to be at the top. Not a quality I possess. This isn't a place for self-pity. This is a place for dour reflection. Yes. And drinking. Ye. <laughs> oh, let's toast it. Let's be nice. We're in a good mood. Not really, but... To Nick. He was my friend. He will be missed, but not forgotten. Hear, hear. Throw it on back, boy. Put that down! Whoa. Kathy, what's your underage child doing drinking? You uh -oh. have no control over her? Ethan can lose I his wasn't license. doing anything! Don't touch me! Joan! Leave me alone. Ugh. You guys are all so... so... stupid! You do not talk to people that way. Okay. I'm... I'm sorry, everyone. She's just so... So it's all right. Someone should probably go get her. That was quite heavy handed. I hope the little one doesn't take it to heart. She'll be all right. Yeah, neither of them were harsh. I'll just shoot her a text. I'll send her a text. Make sure she's going to be okay. We got you, Joan. I'm here for you. That that sounds caring. I like it. Now we're just talking, drinking some brews, looking like we are uh, a bit drunk. Now we're pounding them back. Man's needed a few cold ones. I hope you ain't driving, homie. Night. I'd say that went well, ish. Something you got like to chat that. With everyone you've been avoiding. Oh, thanks, bro. Even if the years didn't smooth their animosity as much as I hoped, just shut up. Coming back to Basswood was your idea. You're the one in the driver's seat, Sam. I can't make you do anything. True that. Deep down, you've been looking for a reason to come back. It's gonna be one of those long nights inside your head, huh? Obviously. Hey, I didn't... I didn't ask for you to be here. To come back. I couldn't let you miss this. You just showed up. You can't see it now, but the guilt would have eaten you alive. You're back out in the world. 
feeling emotions, fitting in, that's progress. Fuck the world. Pointless talking and more talking and no one says what they mean. Go away. Let me enjoy being miserable. Just All right, and buddy. Make sure you don't do anything stupid. No promises. I was going to say no promises there, homie. Okay, guys. I am uh I'm going to stop it there. Looks like we got uh something to read there. Obviously, we blacked out, but uh we'll pick it up in the next episode. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope you're enjoying this game so far. Obviously, there's a lot to uncover. We still don't know exactly what's going on. Obviously, we know that our friend Nick passed away. His daughter thinks that it was a little suspicious, so we're going to try to investigate it, apparently. And, uh, yeah, we reconnected with some uh, old friends from town and everything, so we're getting acclimated back to uh, our old hometown where we haven't been in two years. And we found out about the mine and how kind of our article was the reason that it got shut down. But there we go. That's a small recap of what happened in this first part of the game. Really excited to keep it going. Hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. Really appreciate your guys' support. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.